Welcome to Knowledge Graphs. My name is Anton. We are now on week six, Intelligent Applications with Knowledge Graphs and Deep Learning, and I will walk you through the first notebook on network analysis. For the succeeding parts of this notebook, we will be using the Python library Network X. So first things first, we need a data set, of course. So let's use the Game of Thrones data set provided by Ampligraph. And then we install the Network X library. So we will use the Pandas data frame to load our data set. And our data set is composed of 3,000 something rows with three columns. And these columns stand for or represent the head relation tail or the subject predicate object of our triple. So for the succeeding part of this notebook, I will refer to head relation and tail. So just uh, we don't confuse each other. OK, first things first, it's usually more efficient to use integer IDs instead of lengthy names or URIs to refer to entity and relations, particularly when we do any kind of processing or analysis or representations. So let's convert our um, entities and relations or our head, tail, and relations to um, unique IDs. OK, so now that we have our IDs that will represent our um, different relations and different entities, we also need to be able to look these IDs up later on when we try to make sense of what we are Anal anal analyzing. <laughs> so here we see that the ID of Daenerys Targaryen is 313. So let's remember this number because we will be looking up a lot of stuff about Daenerys Targaryen. Okay, so now let's create our graph. So we will be um, defining a directed graph here because as mentioned already in the lecture, um, a knowledge graph has directed edges. So for each of the record that we have um, uploaded, we will be using, uh, we will be defining the head and the tail and we use relation as the label of this edge. Now that we have loaded our data as a directed graph, let's first look what we have in our graph. Let's look at the nodes, the edges, degree, neighbors, and so on. So we have a total of 2,050 entities and 3,095 edges. And um, here, um, network, S, network X provides us with different um, methods to retrieve, for example, the number of nodes, the number of edges, as well as an iterator that refers to the nodes and the edges. So now let's look at simple network analysis. In particular, we will be looking at degrees. So let's start with in degree. So an in degree of a node is the number of incoming edges. OK, so uh, if in network X, when you call um, g.degree, it returns an iterator. And this iterator contain, contains two tuples. The first one, uh, the first item is the entity. And the second item here is the in degree of that entity or node. So here, we are using IDs to refer to the entities, but we don't know who these people are or what kind of entity these IDs stand for. So our dictionary that we built a while ago will come in handy. Let's look up who or what these uh, entities are. Label. So let's see who 934 is. Okay. So 
So, 934 House Mormont of Bear Island has 12 in degrees. Okay, and we also looked at the in degree of Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, Daenerys is con has an um, edge that has three edges that connects to three entities. And yes, let's move on to the out degree. So the out degree of a node in a directed graph is the number of outgoing edges. But in an undirected graph, the out degree and the degree are one and the same. So let's look at the out degree again. Uh, so let's look at the out degree of Daenerys and let's also look up all of Daenerys' neighbors. Now for a, a directed graph, the neighbors will only return all the edges coming out of Daenerys. For us to be able to get all the neighbors, including the incoming ones, we will reverse the graph so that the edges are reversed and then we collect all of the neighbors of uh, Daenerys Targaryen, incoming and outgoing. So let's see. So Daenerys has these neighbors, House Targaryen of King's Landing, so on and so forth. So let's compute the average degree for the network that we have or the gra graph that we have. So the average degree is 3.02. Okay, that's it for a simple network analysis based on degree. So we, for this kind of data set that we have, unfortunately, we cannot compute for eccentricity because the graph that we have is not strongly connected. So you can try it out by yourself and you will see that the code cell will return an error and tell you that it's not strongly connected. Okay, so we, are, we now have uh, our graph, but we don't know how our graph looks like because we just have IDs and then we just know how many in degree or out degree a node has. But so let's use the um, visualization methods provided by Network X and also we can use Matplotlib or Matplotlib to show us what our graph looks like. So there are several layouts provided by Network X. For our example, we will only use uh, the spring layout. And here we try to draw the whole network. And uh, I just want to warn you that this will take a while because our whole um, data set contains thousands of triples. So, but just be patient, it will work. So, et voila. But we cannot make heads or tails of our graph because we try to render all of the nodes and all of the relations. So let's try to visualize it by looking at the neighbors of Daenerys Targaryen. My, not my favorite character, but everybody knows Daenerys. Okay, so let's try to draw the subgraph. So I'm not going to go through each and every code or each and, each and every line of the code, but um, just remember that we have to first retrieve the labels using our dictionaries, ID to label dictionary. Not only the labels of the entities, but also the labels of the edges or our relations. And then we try to draw, run this method so that we can draw Daenerys neighbors. Let's see. Okay, so Daenerys Targaryen is a spouse, is a spo has spouse, Drogo, and also this person, which I cannot pronounce. <laughs> okay, now, yes, and this is only one edge. How about we extend our subgraph with a path length of three from Daenerys Targaryen. Okay, so we use the single source shortest path length and we define the cutoff to be three. So three is 13 steps away. Okay, there we go. 
that's it for our basic network analysis using Network X. Thank you for your attention and if you have further questions, you can always use the chat or the forum for this.